the sun kind of coming out. Y'all, my hair is huge. <laughs> oh my God. I like actually took the time to style it yesterday and it's enormous. Also, I did something kind of weird with my eyelashes. It's hard to see now though. Okay. The sun is coming out, so it's kind of great. I'm feeling better, in case you're wondering. Um, you're probably not, but I am feeling better. I wasted this entire day. And I can't tell if I like feel bad about it. I, I like just, I literally just posted a video and then I'm supposed to post the rest of them that I filmed, but I don't have anything to talk about, but I was like, at this point, if I don't film today, I'm a bum. <laughs> like, I legitimately have done nothing of any value. Not that this necessarily is valuable, so I don't know where my scale is, what, what my scale is, so <sighs> that's just kind of where I'm at right now. At least the sun's coming out a little bit, so I have a little bit of lighting, but it's been overcast all day. I didn't even play tennis. I took a, like a three hour nap. I'm gonna go to the gym tonight because obviously I have to, but also I need to, but guys, like what? I rested on Saturday, on Friday and Saturday because I actually did need to rest. The lighting's changing and it's kind of weird because it's reflecting off the ground. Um, what? Oh, I rested because I legit was like not feeling well. I think it was a combination of the, the vaccine and me like switching back over to carnivore and it's just like, it was just too much. It was too much for my body. And so I crashed and died. But Sunday came around and I was resurrected. I had so much energy yesterday. It was chaotic energy, but it got me through the day. And then I cut myself today. You see that? I cut myself with scissors like a fucking child. <laughs> like, how do I not know how to use scissors? Like, what? And it hurts, like, a lot. I woke up from my nap, and I was like, oh, why does my finger hurt? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. So I just figured I would try and salvage what bit of this day I could. I feel like, I thought I put my shirt on backwards for a second. Oh, my God. Um... I'm still not 100% sure I did it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. What? What was I talking about? I, I just, I feel like I need to do something. Like, it's 5.30 right now. I didn't even, like, get up to start acting like I was going to do something productive until 5 o'clock. So, not great. Not great. I didn't, I still woke up early. I woke up at... Oh no, not really. What time did I wake up? Yeah, I woke up, I mean, I woke up at like seven something. Not great, but not terrible. And so what have I been doing all day, guys? What have I been doing? Anyway, I rested like I was supposed to. I reset last week and now I have to like, build up momentum or something rebuild my momentum which always sucks so bad especially like when you've built like you've been like disciplined about something and you've been doing it and doing it and i mean i didn't like completely fall off because even those days that i rested i still went to the courts in the morning i did what i could it wasn't much but it was what i could do but i don't know i feel like i need to like raise my level again like I've kind of plateaued and it's just not it and but I also feel like this is like a really good month already so it's kind of weird because we're only a weekend literally it's day seven 
of June and it's Monday. So I really have nothing to talk about. I'm just over here baking in this sun right now. I don't know if you can tell that I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Ew. So it's so hot in my living room in the summer in like from five to like seven or eight. Oh, he has a daughter. I don't need to be this nosy. I don't even care about what my uh, neighbors do up until the second I stand in front of this camera and just stand at my front window door patio thing. So. I've been really good about carnivore, which is great, I think. And then, you know, I actually do want to film a video, like a, like kind of like my hair routine, my daily wash routine, but editing. So probably not anytime soon. Other than that, What am I talking about? <sighs> I am gonna focus really, really hard this year, this month on like two major goals. One of which is just getting as skinny as I can. And I'm gonna see how it works out. I mean, I don't really show my entire body on these videos anyway so i don't know if i'll be able to tell i mean i probably will because of this situation the face it's very full <laughs> but other than that i don't know if i'll be able to tell also i don't weigh myself it's really bad for my like my, my mental health i'm just talking just two friends talking to each other me mostly talking about myself i don't even want to be conceited sometimes i feel like i get on here and just ramble about myself and then i'm like am i a narcissist am i toxic am i conceited i don't want to be but i don't know but i also worked really hard at diminishing myself all from <laughs> really my whole life but like definitely from like 2017 until this year not even last year last year i started to kind of like be like okay i need to stop treating myself so badly but i like around the beginning of this year i was just like being so mean to myself or trying to make myself feel so small and like trying to minimize myself in order to seem humble, I guess, really damaged me. <laughs> like it really did a number on my psyche. And I just kind of try to treat myself how I treat my friends that I love and my other loved ones. And so... Like it kind of sometimes feels wrong to treat myself that way, but not to treat anybody else that way. So I don't understand that. I do. It's a, it's a, it's a psychological dysfunction, but I'm working really hard on it. And sometimes I just have to be like, it's okay. It's okay to talk about yourself sometimes. Even though I kind of talk about myself more than sometimes. But I also listen really intently when people talk about themselves and I try not to interrupt and I try not to bring it back and make it all about me. Like I'll try to relate to their stuff with my own personal experiences, but I don't try to like be like, yeah, that's you, but listen about what me, I have to do. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what was that sentence? <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, again. I just always, always feel bad about just existing sometimes. 
times. <laughs> like, I just feel like I'm wrong for being here and like being human like everybody else. I don't know why. Like, why do I feel so bad about just wanting to love myself and pay attention to my own self? Okay. Some of these curls are absolutely popping, which is crazy because I've been laying on my hair all day and I don't even wear a bonnet. I don't wear, I haven't even been sleeping on like my satin. I took my nap on my couch and it, I was gonna show y'all, but it's kind of, it looks a little rough over there. I don't wanna show nobody that, but yeah. I was about to say something and I immediately forgot. Hmm. I can't remember. I need to paint my nails because they look kind of bluish. No, they don't. It's the glare. I can't say. I'm going blind. Don't mind me. Yeah. I don't have anything to say. I really don't. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I just had to make myself feel better about being a bum <laughs> but you know what can you do I really do want to film a hair video again I like filming hair videos but I hate that I always have to edit them so that's first. oh I remember what I wanted to say I think a lot of like my like personal whatever whatever definitely has to do like obviously you can't like put one human in a box just based off of like their personality types but my personality type it really contributes to the fact that I act and think the way that I do about just like self-denial at times and like self-depreciation I'm an INFP in case you're wondering the best one is it? I don't know. I think the INFJ is like, I know a, a few INFJs. They're pretty great. They're actually really great. I don't think INFP is the best one. Oh well. What's your personality type? Have you taken the test? Sorry, there's something in my eye. Is this too up close and personal? I hate that like my eyeballs are so like, gross you know like they're veiny and stuff I want them to just be clear but childish man childish what do you say your personality type was if you haven't taken it you should take the test I know basically everyone who's close to me their personality <laughs> Because I always make them take it. It's just, I feel like it's important to know yourself. And like, if you, even if you don't, it doesn't fully capture your total identity. Like, it's good to have some parameters, some understanding of where to start. That and the love language one. Selena told me about that. Was that Selena or Ladarius that told me about that one? It was Selena. She made me and Ladarius take it. That one was kind of wild. I forgot what my my results were, I don't think they were healthy. <laughs> and there's another one. Oh, that's just your horoscope, knowing your sign, because I am like full fledged Aquarius. And people don't like Aquarius. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> they don't like us. And I don't feel like I've done anything to warrant that. Oh my God, this guy's walking right here. He's like walked back and forth between uh, up and, what? Up, up, not upstairs. What's this direction? He goes like this. He goes up the stairs and around the thing. All right, that's enough of that. So thank you for letting me waste 15 minutes of your time. Just remember, take those personality tests, the love, the love language test. What other test? Oh, you already know your horoscope. And then, I feel like I can't see anything with these. I put way too much mascara on. Um, just remember guys, be kind 
and enjoy your life. It's the only one you got. I look kind of cute though. <laughs>